everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna talk about oils. Who? <sighs> yeah. What are they good for? A lot of things, actually, and I'm gonna tell you all the benefits right now. Now, some of my loyal subscribers might be thinking, um, you said you don't use oils in your hair. Yes, that is actually true. But I do wanna start incorporating oils into my hair routine. And before I try anything new, especially with my hair, I do my research. So I thought I might as well share my new knowledge with you guys so we can go on this new adding oil journey together. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get weekly curly hair videos. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so we could just, you know, become best friends like right now. And now that we're besties, it's my responsibility to take care of your curly hair. So let's go over all of the top oils you should be putting in your hair. Oils can be used for a couple of different things. One, they can be used to pre-poo, meaning you put them in your hair before your shampoo and conditioner. You can use oils to detangle your hair. You could add the oils to your shampoo or conditioner to make things a little bit better, give them more benefits. You could do a hot oil treatment, you could do scalp massages with them, or you could just use oils to seal in moisture. Now the first type of oil I wanna talk about is moisturizing oils. But I'm also gonna stop right there because I saw online there was a huge debate over if oils actually moisturize your hair or if only water can moisturize your hair. So without getting into that whole thing, just know that oils help retain the already existing moisture in our hair so that it does not evaporate so fast. The oils that help do this are oils that actually penetrate the hair shaft. Okay, we're getting into some big words now. Penetrate, meaning entering the hair shaft, which is just like the hair cuticles, like the little individual strands of hair. Not all oils actually get into the hair. Some of them just sit on them, which are sealants, but we'll get into sealants as well. But the three oils that I wanna talk about today that actually penetrate the hair are coconut oil, olive oil, and avocado oil. Now, coconut oil is like the popular girl out of all the oils, like everybody likes coconut oil, your hair, your face, your skin, your body, just everything is good for coconut oil. But also when you're the popular girl, a lot of people don't like the popular girl because they're just over her and she just does everything. You're just like, ugh, I'm done with you. So a lot of people hate coconut oil and are just like over it. But I suggest that you do try coconut oil and see what it does for your hair. Coconut oil can be used as a heat protective, but that doesn't really matter because we're not straightening our hair anymore, right? Right? Okay, good, just checking. It can be used to repair damage, it can help with your hair loss or hair growth, and this overall really helps maintain the moisture in our hair. But since coconut oil does have a lot of protein, if your hair is protein sensitive, it might just get too hard and be too heavy for your hair. So I say try it out, use it as a pre-poo, use it as a mask, and see how your hair reacts. My favorite way to use coconut oil was definitely detangling. Nothing has detangled my hair easier than coconut oil. So if your hair is super tangled, I would recommend applying a lot of coconut oil to your hair, combing through, let all the tangles just melt away, then taking a shower, rinsing it out with shampoo and conditioner. The next oil I wanna talk about is olive oil. Olive oil is a very popular oil, not just in the kitchen. You might as well go to your pantry now and grab it and now keep it in your bathroom because it has so many benefits for our hair. Olive oil is going to soften your hair, it's gonna fight frizz, it's gonna help with damage and also help with any dandruff. I would recommend using olive oil like in a deep conditioner so you either could apply it to your deep conditioner or do a whole DIY mask like I have done before. I will link that right here so you guys can see that video and also at the end of this video. But that way it really can sit on your hair for like a good 20 minutes, put on a heat cap and let it soak into those cuticles. And the third oil that I wanna talk about that actually penetrates the hair is avocado oil. Avocado oil is what you wanna use if your hair is very damaged and really weak and you want to strengthen the hair. It is a heavier oil, so this is probably better for my high porosity girls and boys out there that have like really tight coily hair. This is the oil that's probably gonna be best for your hair. Avocado oil is very rich in nutrients, so it's really going to help repair your hair and give it the nourishment that it needs. So those are the top three oils that I feel like most people talk about. There's definitely other oils out there that penetrate the hair shaft as well, but these are like the three main dogs that everybody's riding with. The next type of oil I wanna talk about are sealing oils. These are oils that do not actually penetrate the hair. They kinda of just sit on top. So you might be thinking, why would I want anything just to sit 
on my hair. Well, a sealing oil is supposed to be put on as a last thing to like lock in the moisture. It's also best to use after a braid or twist out to lock in the moisture and lock in your style. The common misconception is that these oils are used to add moisture to your hair, but they're not going to add moisture, they're just going to sit on top of it and lock in whatever you have. But if your hair is already dry, you're just locking in the dryness. The three sealing oils I want to mention are Jamaican black castor oil, jojoba oil, and grapeseed oil. My favorite sealing oil of the three might be Jamaican black castor oil. I do love how it smells. It's full of vitamin E and protein, so it's supposed to help with hair growth. Jamaican black castor oil is commonly used for scalp massages, but you have to use just a little bit because a little bit doesn't go a long way. It's very heavy oil. If you use too much, you'll probably hate it. It might just weigh down your hair. But if you use it right, just use a couple drops or so, it's going to strengthen the hair, make it thicker and grow faster. It's also used to restore those edges. So if you go like to a Beyonce or Rihanna concert and they just like slay your edges away, you might wanna get that Jamaican black castor oil and bring them back. The next oil is jojoba oil. You might look at it and read jojoba oil, but you have to pronounce the J's with H's. Yes, we all learned the hard way. Don't act like you didn't read jojoba the first time you saw the bottle, okay? Nobody knows that off the first read. But jojoba oil is cool because it's the oil that is most similar to our natural oils in our hair, AKA the sebum. Because jojoba oil is so similar to our natural oils in our hair, it is very lightweight, so it's probably the best option for us that have low porosity hair. Jojoba oil will fight breakage, add shine, and also create more volume. And last but not least is grapeseed oil. I personally have not tried grapeseed oil yet, but I'm probably most excited to try that one because it is one of the most affordable ones. It's also the most lightweight. So if coconut oil or olive oil is too heavy for your hair, definitely try grapeseed oil. It's gonna be a great sealant that you use after your shower, after shampoo, conditioner, and you're gonna put on your damp hair to lock in that moisture. Another reason why I'm excited to try grapeseed oil is because it's odorless. Usually I don't like using oils because they have like a strong smell or like that smell doesn't mix well with my styling products, but this one has absolutely no scent. So it's just gonna be a great sealant that's going to hold in that moisture, but not distract my nose. These are all the main oils that I wanted to go over today. You learned about the ones that actually penetrate the hair, the ones that seal the hair. I did not go over every oil ever made because ain't nobody got time to go through all of them. But this is where I need you guys to help me out, okay? So hear me out, don't leave me out. I need, I need you here, you got, we here? Okay, good. So the YouTube comment section, I know it could be a very, very scary place, but I would like my comment section to be like a curly hair community where we all give our tips and tricks to help each other out. So if you're someone that uses oils all the time, please leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite oils are and what benefits they gave to your hair. Now in order to leave a comment, I know you're gonna have to like log in and like put your password. It's like, ugh, it's, it's, it's a lot, I understand. But while you're logged in, you also hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I post two new videos every week. So if you like makeup, curly hair, and you just wanna know a thing or two on how to make it all work, you gotta come back next week for my next upload. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.